Hello everyone, thanks for having me here. I'm glad to be part of such wonderful DD community. Today, I would like to take you for a short journey where a precisely defined point in time is crucial for business. A journey about time-based domain events, which may be kind of a niche. Let's start. I had an opportunity to work closely inside employee experience domain, specifically benefits for employees. Important fact is that the benefits context deeply depends on work cycle of the employee. What can be seen on that diagram? We will also speak about domain events, which are visible here as orange stickies, especially around discounts which employee can spend, though it will be kind of simplified perspective. Turning our attention now to the first case, discount eligibility. After six months of service, discount becomes effective. Six months of service indeed is some identification of important period of time. But how can we model such time-based requirement? Maybe it's just an event. Sounds legit, doesn't it? Studying the Red Boot, I found out something interesting in that matter, the definition of time-based domain event. But still the question remains, what this expiring time frame is called? Distilling more and more knowledge, we finally get to another descriptive concept, namely discount eligibility date. But nevertheless, it wasn't enough to understand what we should do. So the question arose, what does it mean that discount becomes effective? We got some answers. It looks like it's not only about the fact that discount became effective, but rather when and what should happen next. We need to create an account and assign it. Only then employee can spend discount. What's more? And here comes the dragons, external dependencies. Even worse, such dependencies may indicate wrong boundaries of responsibilities. Of course, being involved into engineering means asking a lot of questions like this. What if, what if the external dependencies are unavailable? We asked such question and the response brought some interesting insights. It's okay to reschedule this event to next day. Are we still care about the precise point in time named eligibility date? This and other concepts came to my mind. With all of that, we proposed some useful model at that time. Starting from the employee joint event, which comes from the work cycle uh, context, we just decided to create a discount, like some kind of a, a policy. Of course, it's worth asking question, if it's the valid approach to create a discount if the eligibility date is not yet reached. However, it has its benefit of encapsulating rules regarding how the eligibility date is calculated, which then can be put in the uh, discount created event. Here comes the fun part, the process manager. With the eligibility date already calculated by business rule, we use it as an initial trigger. The process manager itself also takes care of potential failures with external dependencies to retry them. Once again, because we have invariance inside the discount aggregate, we can ensure that association can only happen if the eligibility date is really reached. If something changes in between, we still can have that invariant uh, in the aggregate inside. Finally, we can say that discount is associated or maybe rather we should say that discount became effective. I will leave you with that question and jump to yet another slightly different case. Levers. We can think that leaving a company is the final stage of employee work cycle. The reality will very shortly verify that. Here we are about to discuss a phenomena of just in time events, or what is more, even scheduler. Whenever employee leaves, an effective discount should be disassociated. Sounds simple, from left to right flow, quite easy we thought. However, I've already mentioned a dependency between those two contexts. And our lovely friends doesn't speak our language. They are more about collecting facts around employee decisions like employee mark as lever with a living date included. Interestingly, this date can be in the past or in the future. What to do then? Thankfully, we know the pattern of translating one model into another using anti-corruption layer. 
it looks like a matching code for this pattern, but how to achieve that translation? Here comes almighty weirdo called Even Shadwell. Disclaimer, it's, I'm not going to dig into the technical details, we can just handle it later. But the basic idea around Event Shadow is that it picks up the employee markup sliver event, put it somewhere, waits until leaving that is reached. On that date, sends it straight to the benefits context. Seems to be a working scenario. But the reality enforces a bit more complex scenarios. Employees can postpone leaving or even can cancel their decision completely, for example, because they will be get promoted if they stay in the company. All of that additional behaviors in an anti-corruption layer are here in order to publish employee left event just in time. We've, we achieve quite simply looking process using our context terminology. On the other hand, can we talk about scheduled events? Is it appropriate? Keep thinking. I will move to next scenario. End of financial year. Here, context wide events and fun of the effect. Once again, we deal with some precisely defined point in time, some expiring time frame over the year, like financial year ended. We can observe as well that in the in that context wide event causes a lot of local reactions for individual entities like discount refresh. It's not as a fun out effect. With a large number of entities, it may be a technical challenge. So digging into a unit of time in that context is very crucial. What end of financial year does really mean? And if we ask questions like how quickly all discounts needs to be refreshed, we may get an answer of immediately, all at once. But let's try it differently by asking about consequences, which may lead to interesting insights, like what are consequences if all discounts are refreshed till 7 a.m.? Not big, shops open at 8 a.m. to spend discount. With such stated requirement, we can even build some quality metrics to drive our ease. Like whenever financial year ends, all discount needs to be refreshed to 8 a.m. It helps us to design things smoother. Coming back to the model, should we use already invented aerial event shadow for that purpose of refreshing? Rather not. It's work and doesn't sound familiar. Instead, let's stick to shadow commands and act upon the parents of this of discount, keeping invariants where they should belong to. And that brings me to the end of my presentation. I hope that you learned something about time-based domain events. Worth noting, I am completely aware of passage of time pattern proposed by Matthias, but it also led to some interesting outcomes when it comes to uh, this design journey. Thank you very much.